Previously, on Resident Evil HD Remastered. Oh no! No! Ow! Fuck, I forgot to do the turn! And now we continue. Hey, Star Members, hey, welcome back to my Resident Evil HD remake and all that glorious jazz. Turns out, guys, I actually missed something back here. I actually missed, like, a few things back here. I missed a key item, and there are two key items in my item box that I totally missed. So, the first one I missed was actually down here. I totally, I actually missed it. I, actually, I can't believe I actually missed this key item. It's actually, no, 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 Jill, Jill. It's right here, actually. See, I'm, I actually, to I totally missed it. I actually need this to continue on. I open this. Fuck. Oh, no, no, I examine, okay, I examine it. And then I open it, boom! I get the stone ring, which I put on the metal ring that I got. And the family picture of notes. There's something written on the back. November 10th, 1967. Pro, pro Jenner virus administered. Jessica. Administered virus type A. Like pl plasmology of the tissues during cell activation. Virus fusion. Negative. Active. Action. Disposed. Lisa. Administered virus type B. Plasmology of tissue during the cell activation. Virus function. Positive but delayed fusion. Biomodification. Obscured. Constant results. Status. Continue pressure. Observation. George. Action. Terminated. November 30th, 1967. There's a journal about someone. Oh my gosh, really? A fucking journal? Ah, November 14th, 1967. I feel dizzy after the shot they gave me. I don't see Mom. Where did they take her? She promised that we would escape together. Did you escape alone and leave me behind? November 15th, 1967. I found Mom. We ate together. I was very happy. But she was fake. Not my real mom. Same face, but different inside. I have to find Mom. I have to, fa I have to give face back to Mother. I gave Mom's face back. Nobody can have my mom except me. I attached her face to me. So, oh, that's fucking dark. Tapped her face to me so she doesn't go away. Because mom said, when I meet her without her face. Oh, that is, um, <coughs> that's, uh, um, that's dark. November 17th, 19th, I'm gonna guess 67. <laughs> From inside box, scent of mommy, maybe true mother there. Stone box hard, it hurt, steel rope in the way. Can't see mother because four stones. Um, okay, that's, 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 um, that's some fucking dark ass shit. That's fucking dark. I mean, I know Resident Evil is dark, but fuck. Oh, that which reminds me, guys. Hold up. Who here has seen The Walking Dead? Who here saw last episode? See, don't, don't worry, I'm not going to spoil it because my rule for talking about shows that I'm not going to spoil any major points until the next episode comes out. So I'm not going to spoil who Negan killed, but I do want to talk about it. I actually do want to talk about it. So what I need are these four items. The buy, the yeah, two bucks. Um, what you do is you combine this to that, and then you exam- I heard you gotta examine these. Yeah, so you examine them, you open them, and boom, you get medals. Medals are the book. I think I need- I don't know why, but I think I need to hold on to these medals. I think I need these medals very later on. V very soon, I think. Very soon, I think I need these medals. Very soon. The medals hidden inside the book. Are these the medals that we put... No, no. The medals that we put for the Lisa door are these medals. So I go out, I get the other medal, and okay. Okay, so now I know what to do. Now I know what to do. But I want to talk to you guys about The Walking Dead, the, the last episode where we show who Negan killed. I'm not going to tell you who he killed until next week, so, th so those, of you, those of you who do watch The Walking Dead but haven't had a chance to see the episode, get a chance to see it. But I do want to talk about the episode. Not specifically any spoilers, but just the episode. So, basically, if you don't want to hear anything about the episode, I suggest you might want to mute me, because <laughs> I'm going to be talking about, I'm not going to give the spoilers, but we'll be talking about some of the points I liked in the episode. So, here we go, ready? Three, two, one, okay. So basically, one thing that I really did like about the episode was the suspense. As in like, yeah, if you watched the last, oh my gosh, the, if you last the last freaking, the last episode of the last season, we know Negan killed somebody. We know he killed the fuck out of somebody, but we didn't know what. And, and like, if you watch in the promos and look at the promo, oh shit, no, 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 ow, fuck off of me, ah, fuck off me. Oh, very happy on caution. Oh, you son of a bitch. 
fucking son of a bitch. And I gotta go back up and get the herb, because you want to be a little asshole. But basically, we know he killed the fuck out of somebody with, with Lucille. We know he killed the fuck out of somebody, but we didn't know what. And they fucking toyed the shit out of that. Like, literally, like, it got, it got a little annoying. It got very, very annoying. Like, it was already 30 minutes in, and they're still teasing us on who they get killed. It's still fucking teased us. I did not like that. I'm like, come on. Tell me who we killed. I was actually really scared that it was Daryl. That could have been Daryl. I was... No! No! Get away from me! Get away from... Oh my gosh, where am I... Where am I going? Oh my god. This is so fucking confusing. It's actually very confusing. I actually... I'm very confused. It was... It toyed with us. Like, oh, who did Negan kill? Who did Negan kill? Ah, it's like... It scared... It's like... it's. Just, I hate it, but it scared me because... Daryl is one of my favorite characters. He's my favorite. He's like one of my favorite characters of the show. I love Daryl. Like he is my, he he actually is my favorite character of the show. He's my favorite non-main character, like not including Rick or Carl. Like he is my like one of the people that can die in the show. Like the favorite, yeah, he's my favorite, Daryl. And I was so scared because all the promos, all the sneak peeks, even up to the point where Negan killed that person, with well, the person that Negan killed. It, it, it all pointed to Daryl, which scared me. It terrified me because here's the evidence that I found where it said it could be Daryl. Um, all the promos were like, you know, I can understand like the the, the building up hype of like, like the like what's the fate of this like you know watch um, Maggie's beginning to the end question mark watch. Sasha's beginning to end question mark it was like that where basically showed like and actually toyed with us making us think I'll be taking this though I'll be taking the grenade launcher ammo oh acid okay I'll be taking that though but it toyed with us and Daryl's was the I think Daryl had the longest and the saddest one which I mean yeah I sort of oh shit no I needed to save no. Okay, I'll come back for that. I'll come back. No, I forgot. I need to save a spot in my inventory for that. Fuck. But okay, back on back on track. Daryl was the longest, which and the status, which shows like, um, okay, I can kind of understand that, you know. Daryl, you know, he's kind of a really cool character. Yeah, I, I can understand that. And then. I think it was on Facebook where I saw a, a promo, like, the day before the episode, I saw a promo picture for the season saying Daryl's fate will be revealed. And it didn't really say anybody else but Daryl's fate. It just said, it didn't say Sasha's fate, it didn't say Glenn's fate, it didn't say Maggie's fate, it said Daryl's fate. And that was like, oh, wait a minute, are you serious? Is Daryl gonna die? Like, no, no. And there was a, the, they were released a promo like scene they, 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 they released like a premiere like a preview scene um the scene was basically after Negan killed whoever he killed and he's talking to Rick and Rick was like I'm gonna kill you not today not tomorrow but I'm gonna kill you and basically Negan and Rick were having that conversation and Negan said something this, this is all fair game guys this is like this was like this was all in a preview and episode so it's not really spoiling anything this was like for me if it's in like the previews or like the promos that that happened before the episode, I call that fair game. That is not spoiler. I call that fair game. So they're exchanging, and then um, Negan says, t talks to one of his men, and he goes, "Yeah, that's Samson like that. He's my right hand man. Where's your right hand man?" <gasps> and they gave that like that petty shit where it's like, "Oh, did I hurt your right?" Like he like, "Oh." Did the person I kill was the right hand man, something like that, and that and that was like another hint that that it was Daryl, because, and for what I what I saw in the show, Daryl is Rick's right hand man. I mean, Rick has like a has like can, that's debatable. I mean, that's the from what I saw in the show, Daryl is the right hand man. I mean, that's I mean that's debatable. People, some people say it was like it was freaking what was it? It was. People say that it was Glenn, people say that it was Carol, people say, people say it's like all these other people. And I don't, uh, people say it was Michonne, people say it was like, uh, it, it, it varies. Like a lot of people have differently, but what I believed, I believe that Daryl was Rick's right hand man. 
and that's what, you know, Negan was toying with. And I was like, oh shit, no. And when he was driving Rick into the trailer, it panned out to see like the, uh, see like so many brains. On the side was a blanket. And I was like, wait a minute, what the fuck? The only person wearing a blanket in the circle that in that like murder circle was Daryl. He was the only one wearing a blanket. And the blanket's off and there's a brain adder and blood? Oh no, 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 no. I was like, no. It terrified me. It scared me. Even like during that okay, this happened in the episode, so it's not really spoiling it. It's more of like another cheese. So I don't know if it's spoiling or not, but I want to say I will let you guys decide. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about it, but I'm gonna let you get excited if it's spoiling. Or not. Flashback of like what's happening. Like here's like a first person point of view of Rick of like the whole incident, and there's like a and it shows basically a flashback of okay. I think we need. I think now we need the MO discs. And basically, it's like a flashback of like the different character, like as Negan is going past each person, as he's going like eeny meeny miny mo. There's going like a flashback, like it, like he goes eeny meeny and it, like goes to like Michonne, and like it shows like a flashback of like Michonne's beginning to now. It goes to Abraham, it shows Abraham's beginning to now, and I think all that, and then it went from an order. And what scared me the most is that it didn't show Daryl. It didn't show Daryl's, like, beginning to end, which led me to believe, holy shit, they're gonna show Daryl's end, and Daryl's end is his getting his face carved in by fucking Lucille. But Barry, you wanna hear about The Walking Dead too? Jill, you're alive. Yeah, I'm alive. After you left me to die, you little bitch. I was worried, because I thought you I were... was what? No! <sighs> Give me your gun, little bitch! Start... Talk. Speak, you little speak. Calm down. I didn't want to do it. Believe me, I can explain. Uh, Don't lie to don't me. Don't lie to me, Barry. I loved you in Revelations 2. So maybe you have to pop a cap in your ass. Lisa! Lisa, it's you. Ah! Hey, 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 hey! Don't destroy statues. Those are expensive. Those are expensive. Ah! Oh, and you got tentacles. Oh, I see the enough hand to know where this is going. No time to talk. Jill, hand me my gun! Well, you know what? I like your revelations too, so I'm gonna trust you. Thanks, Jill. Alright, let's go. So, we gotta push these boulders down. I remember this. We gotta push these down. We don't fight Lisa, we just push them down. So, basically, it showed everybody getting to the end. Like, it showed Abraham, like, from the first time we saw Abraham to the incident. It showed Maggie from the first time we saw Maggie to, like, the incident. Oh, give me, give me, give me. We saw all that, but we did see Daryl. And that's what scared me. I was like, no. Oh, thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you, Barry. Give me, give me. I'm just gonna push this to the side. And then, yeah, and then I think Lisa takes something from there and kills herself, like jumps off the ledge. Oh, yeah, yeah, she takes the skull. I think she jumps off. Yeah, yeah, she jumps off. Okay, yeah. Jump. And that is how you do the freaking leap of faith from Assassin's Creed, guys. That's Lisa's version. All right, Barry. Thanks for having me back. I don't believe that thing's really dead. Oh, no, dead. it's not dead. Nah, it's not dead. It's immortal. Leave this place up to me and go on ahead. Yeah, okay. okay. All right. Thanks, Barry. But, yeah, that's what scared me. And then, um, it didn't really show Daryl. It was, it was, everything was hinting towards Daryl. And then, when it actually showed who it was... I was so, like, shocked at who it was. I was like, what? What? It's blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh my gosh. But, the f oh, but it was, it was like, mwah. It was, mwah. But it will shock you. I mean, I, I'm not, I mean, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to tell you who it is. But it will shock you. It will shock you. Yeah, I know we put the, okay, there we go. I'm, this is all coming back to me now. It's all coming back to me. I think, I think that's the laboratory in there. I think that's the laboratory. We put these two in, the laboratory opens, and boom! Final section of the game, guys. Final section. And it's gonna shock you, trust me. If you're a huge fan of The Walking Dead, this episode will not disappoint. And I also hinted towards another incident that happened in the comics that was supposed to happen a long time ago. 
Oh, what the? Oh, so this is a laboratory. Okay, I guess. Or I guess this is a laboratory. So what about? Wait, what about this door? Isn't this a laboratory? The large iron door. Okay, so I guess. Okay, so I guess the laboratory's down here. So yeah, if you're, they also hinted at like um, a, a reference and a hinted uh, incident that happened earlier in the comics. And it really implied that that certain incident was going to happen on this season. It, that's what I really... I don't... I, I kind of want to see that. But also, I kind of don't want to see that. Because if they do do that incident, it would shock a lot of the viewers. It would actually shock them. Because it'll, it'll make you think. It'll make you think twice before who's safe and who's not safe. It'll make you think twice. And that's what I really want to see. But Daryl dying... I'm not sure how that would play out. You know, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna talk about that in the next episode. When we come back, guys, we're exploring the laboratory, and I'm gonna talk to you guys about Daryl's likelihood of dying in The Walking Dead. I'm, I'm gonna talk about his likelihood, because I, I got a lot to say about that. I got a lot to say about that. So when we come back, we're gonna be exploring the laboratory, and we're gonna be talking to you guys about Daryl's likelihood of surviving The Walking Dead. So thank you all for watching, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, I'll be seeing you all in the next zombie fail neek and bashing face in part. Peace everyone, and have a marvelous, spectacular, wonderful, zombie free day. Help me! It still doesn't help me at all! Are you, where are you Lisa? Oh I see you! I see you!